Hello everyone, welcome to Felipe's Reviews. Today we're going to take a look at this LEGO Chinese Festival Special Edition set, the Dragon Boat Race. So this set contains 643 pieces and retail hundred new cent dollars. It comes with two dragon boats and a dock full of spectators to recreate a scene uh, during the Dragon Boat Festival. So now let's take a closer look and how well it recreates the scene. Here are the two dragon boats, so one in red and the other in green, which is a very traditional contrast of uh, Chinese colors. I think uh, the design is very on point and it really captured the actual uh, dragon boat, although in real world the dragon boat is slightly longer. Although the two boats look very similar, but um, the dragon head is actually different, and I think both dragon uh, capture uh, the dragon looks very well and you have some interesting uh, use of the croissant pieces and the telephone pieces to recreate a different shape of the dragon nose. The only identical build of the boats is really the the, uh, the base part of the boat. Um, however, um, because of um, the availability of certain pieces in the color, there is slight differentiation uh, between the two builds. The only frustrating part of uh, building the boat is really uh, the stickers on the side because these are fairly long stickers so it takes some effort to apply it uh, nicely. What impressed me in such a small build is uh, they really pay attention to the little details so both boats uh, has the drum and it's a very interesting reuse of the Harry Potter Magic Wand piece here. Instead of building a um, stationary boat, uh, they do uh, put some little wheels under the boat so you can actually uh, slide the boat along a surface. And here is the dock for the spectators to witness the dragon boat race. The dock itself is, uh, have to be very careful to move around because uh, the connection point between each part is quite fragile. However, apart from this one, I think this is a very excellent design dock. On the left of the dock, there's a um, shop to sell the uh, um, traditional uh, sticky rice parcel uh, that most Chinese will eat to celebrate uh, the Dragon Boat Festival. And in the middle, it's just a place um, for the spectators to uh, chair the, the team that they support. Uh, and then on the right, you've got the organizer here and the uh, trophy for the winner of the race. Under the dock you can see uh, they reuse uh, this technique on building the uh, surface water. So this technique uh, was uh, first introduced in the Ninjago City set which is one of the uh, most impressive set ever in my opinion. And I really like the way uh, they, they use to uh, build the surface of water. I'm also very impressed with the design on how to build each section uh, on the docks uh, because uh, instead of having um, pieces that um, hold tightly together uh, they decide to uh, use this uh, soft long piece uh, to create uh, some of the uh, roof area of the shops and, and the uh, where the uh, organizer sits uh, it really captures uh, the whole feeling and the vibe um, it's quite hard to describe, but like if you've been to an Asian style dock and there's some shops on top of that, you will get what I mean. And another highlight is really this shop that sells the uh, sticky rice parcel. So the sticky rice parcel is a really, really traditional um, Chinese uh, food item uh, that people consume during the Dragon Boat Festival, as I mentioned earlier. And they got this really nice. Uh, stickers to represent um, uh, the name of that particular um, r sticky rice parcel. And more impressive is that they, they put in the details even in the kitchen. So you can see there's a uh, bowl of sticky rice. Uh, there's another bowl to cook some other stuff. And at the back you've got um, the leaves that wrap the uh, sticky rice parcel. And also they include lots of this uh, printed pieces of the sticky rice parcel. So they got two variations, uh, one in this color and the other one is in a uh, brighter green color. Overall I think um, the way this is built, it's not just um, good representation 
of a uh, shops on a dock, but I think uh, it will be a very useful technique uh, to create some form of uh, Asian night market as well. And now let's take a quick look of the minifigures included in this set. So this set uh, contains 15 minifigures. Yes, 15. Um, but first we're going to take a look at this uh, five uh, minifigures that are not part of the uh, uh, racing. Um, from the left, you got the sticky rice parcel uh, shopkeeper, and you got the organizer, and then you got that little kid trying to buy that uh, sticky rice parcel, and then you got the two uh, spectator. One is the male, and the other is the uh, female. So all minifigures uh, comes with uh, the existing uh, torsos from many of the other set. I think uh, as a bonus that you get a. Uh, one of the very common uh, torso and legs from the uh, Ninjago uh, movie uh, series. Here's the team from the Red Dragon Boat. So you get this new exclusive printed torso and, and legs. And it's very nice that they include five uh, unique face for each team member and also hairstyle as well. So I think it's uh, very well done. And finally, we have the team from the Green Dragon Boat. So all five members are with uh, exclusive printed torso and legs. Um, however, it's the same uh, design as the red team, but in a uh, different color. Uh, this team also comes with five unique faces and hairstyle, which is a very nice thing to have. Overall, I think this is yet again another excellent set from LEGO. I think LEGO did a very good job in all three of the Chinese Festival Special Edition set. And especially in this one, uh, there are lots of effort uh, to capture all the little details uh, from the uh, Dragon Boat Festival. So I strongly recommend you get this set if you are in the Asia Pacific region. And unfortunately, uh, for people that outside SPAC, then you might have to uh, get it from eBay or other online auction with a slightly higher premium price. So let me know what you think about this set in the comment section below. And if you like my video, uh, be sure to check out my other contents and subscribe to my channel for more upcoming updates. I'll see you next time.